The Lockheed Martin X-56 is an American modular unmanned aerial vehicle that is being designed to explore high-altitude long-endurance flight technologies for use in future military unmanned reconnaissance aircraft. The aircraft was created by Lockheed Martin's Advanced Development Programs, also known as the Skunk Works, and was originally made public by Aviation Week. It will be used to study active flutter suppression and gust load alleviation technologies. The Body Freedom Flutter BFF, research program was created as a result of the Skunk Works team's study in this field, which they started in 2005 with a novel design technique. Through the development of a novel design paradigm of active control, their research showed that flutter behavior can be precisely predicted and addressed. A series of flight tests showed that this active control technique increased BFF speed by 75%. Flutter happens when the structural dynamics of a vehicle and the aerodynamic forces operating on an aircraft during flight combine, are coupled, to produce an often violent harmonic vibration. The accompanying vibration leads to a potentially disastrous situation that could practically break an aircraft's wing or tail surface off. Simply put, picture a flag on a pole. Although the wind has a defined speed, the flag's structural characteristics cause it to wave irregularly from side to side. It typically bends, dips, or swells. The flag is essentially undergoing induced flutter when the circumstances are ideal to make it pulse. The flag can be torn from the pole if the wind is too strong and the grommets are stitching break. Since practically the very beginning of powered flight, flutter has been recognized as a danger. It can be challenging to correctly predict the flutter causing conditions even after more than a century of aircraft design experience. Historically, flutter has been addressed by aircraft designers by attempting to prevent it, using strategies like adding structure. Even at conditions well outside an aircraft's typical operating flight envelope, the natural inclination of structural dynamics and aerodynamics to couple can be avoided by including enough stiffness in a particular structure. However, the increased stiffness also results in weight gain, often significant weight gain, which raises fuel consumption. Reduction in range is the eventual result. The X-56 team seeks to accomplish something wholly unique. According to Burnett, the X-56A program's goal is to mature flutter suppression technologies. Designers can utilize longer, more flexible wings and lighter components if we can reduce flutter using the same flight control technologies that maintain vehicle stability. As a result, future airplanes will be able to travel farther and higher than they could previously. Many long-range human and unmanned aerial aircraft as well as fuel-efficient transporters of the future are expected to have wings that are long, thin, and have a high aspect ratio. Many of the same characteristics used in the X-56, including a blended body, long, thin swept-back wings, and extremely thin airfoils, are anticipated to be present in these upcoming aircraft. The U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory, or AFRL, provided funding for the X-56. The contractor test team wants to show that they can precisely forecast the onset of flutter and actively suppress the aircraft's aeroelastic instabilities by employing the flight controls. A stiff set and a flexible pair of wings will be tested on the X-56. To prevent flutter within the flying envelope, the stiff pair of wings is constructed in the conventional way with a thicker framework. These are utilized for the aircraft's initial airworthiness evaluations as well as any upcoming non-flutter flight studies. Flutter was purposefully placed far inside the X-56A's flex wing configuration's flight envelope. Simply flying fast enough allows flutter to happen since it is a natural link of the aerodynamics and structural dynamics. Body Freedom Flutter, also known as BFF, Symmetric Wing Bending Torsion, and Anti-Symmetric Wing Bending Torsion, are the three separate flutter modes that the X-56A is designed to feature within the flying envelope. The X-56A active flutter controls are made to simultaneously squelch all three modes. The flutter wings are flexible, but the interior construction of the wings is the identical in both designs, according to Kent Burns, the program manager for the X-56A. The stiff wings feature very thick, precisely designed carbon fiber skins, whilst the flex wings have very thin fiberglass and foam skins. Both sets are built of a carbon fiber internal structure of spars and ribs. In case one set of flex wings breaks in flight due to flutter, three identical sets were constructed. Internal water tanks and water pumps are present in the flutter wings. In order to mimic the fuel needed for long flights, such as those of long-range transport or high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft, the weight of the water is employed. External mounts on the aircraft make it simple to swap out the rigid wings with flexible ones. There is an aerodynamic fairing that resembles an upside-down hot dog bun that covers the external wing attach points. It takes roughly 15 hours to switch the wings. As a result of that effort, the Multi-Utility Aeroelastic Demonstrator, 
MAD program was sponsored by the Air Force Research Laboratory. It is an entire vehicle system that includes a ground control station trailer with simulation capabilities for mock flight tests and a vehicle transportation trailer. A novel modular unmanned air vehicle created to evaluate active flutter suppression and gust load relief is the X56A multi-utility technology test bed, MUT, which is a part of this initiative. In an effort to develop technologies that will result in wings with higher aspect ratios and more thin, lighter profiles, the X56A will test at the edge of the flying envelope. This will improve aircraft performance. The Polcat, Sentinel, and Dark Star UAVs, as well as early Lockheed UAV work, are all influences on the X-56A. The program calls for the construction of two 7.5 feet long fuselages and a wingspan of 27.5 feet, with four sets of wings being constructed for flight testing. On July 26, 2013, the X-56A made its maiden flight from Edwards Air Force Base. Twenty further flights on behalf of the Air Force Research Laboratory were required before the plane was turned over to NASA for additional testing. To capture the flutter events, additional cameras mounted on the X-56 a composite fuselage are directed outward toward the wingtips. To offer a visual reference for calculating the amplitude of the flutter, a grid pattern is painted on the interior of the wingtip. The X-56 has a top speed of 150 knots, however the flexible wings cause flutter to start at around 110 knots, which is still well inside the flight envelope of the ship. Accelerometers on the wing structure are used to detect when flutter starts to occur, and then commands are sent to the flight controls to reduce vibration and let the aircraft fly far faster than the speed at which flutter starts to occur. On November 19, 2015, the first flexible wing X-56A unmanned aircraft crashed at Edwards AFB in California, suffering catastrophic damage shortly after takeoff. Flight to test active flutter suppression. 16 flights with rigid wings had already been completed by the aircraft to demonstrate its operational range. On April 9, 2015, the second X-56A unmanned aircraft had its first flight while being run by NASA. Eight flights were made by the aircraft using its stiff wings to expand its operational range. The vehicle then completed its first flight with the highly flexible wings on 31 August 2017. One instability mode, Body Freedom Flutter, was shown to be actively suppressed by the digital flight control at 110 kn, within its normal flight envelope. Flutter suppression would make it possible to create low drag wings that are thin, flexible, and lighter. After experiencing an anomaly in flight, NASA's unmanned X-56B aircraft crashed on July 9, 2021, and it was completely destroyed.